Hello everybody and welcome to Arson Girl Gaming. My name is Heather and I thank you for joining me for this very special Sims 4 on console slash Xbox One video. This video is brought to you courtesy of EA and the Game Changers program. Thank you to them for providing me with the missing packs that I needed as well as the new Cats and Dogs expansion so that I could bring this video to you. So thank you EA. I really appreciate it. So I have loaded up a game that I don't mind cheating on. So we're gonna kind of look at what's happening on the new map. So we get Brindleton Bay with this expansion, which is one of my absolute favorite worlds to live in and play in. And what I figure we'll do is we'll look over the map. We'll look at create a sim. We'll create a sim and a couple animals. And then uh, we will buy a house and we'll look at some of the build and buy mode items. Now, if you click on the link above, you will be taken to my full overview of the buy build items in Cats and Dogs that I did for PC last year. I'm not going to do the whole thing again on this video just for conciseness and since I've already done it, but we'll touch on some of my favorite things. So. Uh, to start with, of course, though, is the map because it's absolutely my favorite. And I want to talk about some areas here. So this was a kind of a unique map that they gave us where they actually defined, they being the developers, the areas that um, like kind of make up the map. And they have like a little story about them. So Cavalier Cove is known for its hiking trails and sprawling coastal properties. Cavalier Cove is the perfect place to go exploring or chase seagulls with an adventurous pup. Then we have over here, whoops, if I can get there, go back. Uh, Deadgrass Isle. Once the site of a mysterious shipwreck, Deadgrass Isle is now home to the world famous Brindleton Light and the city's largest population of indi indigenous strays. Lately, however, there have been some rumors about strange visitors after sundown. And then we have this area, Whoa. Whis Whiskerman's Wharf, a favorite hangout for the Bay's feline citizens who can often be found climbing around down at the docks. Whiskerman's Wharf is also enjoyed by fishermen and tourists alike. That's a real fun area. And then we have Sable Square, the cultural center of the city. Sable Square is ideal for both cats and dogs. These people love their pets so much they've built a monument to them right in the middle of town. So honestly, I tend to spend a lot of time in Cavalier Cove and I love building on Bedlington Boathouse lot because let's go actually, well, I'll take you in. Let's see if we can go visit it. We'll grab Catherine and we'll go visit it because it has the best views. And if you want to build like an affordable, smaller house, this is like one of the best lots to do it on because it, you can't go too big. So it can't get too expensive. I mean, I guess it could, but we have some really large lots on here that are kind of water bound, but this one is just absolutely my favorite. So I've used this in a lot. If you've ever watched my, uh, not so very challenge for PC. You will see that this lot is featured in that because of this. Look at the views. Like, just look at that. It's just stunning. You've got the beach, you've got all these walking paths. You've even got a public bathroom, apparently an area she can cook on since she's not in the house and you'll often find strays. So if you want to adopt a pup or a Mortimer, you can do that. But it's just one of my absolute favorites. The artwork is just amazing. If you wanted nothing more, if you don't want cats, you don't want dogs, you don't want anything, this is still a pack to buy just for this world. I mean, that is, my complete and utter answer for this. I mean, oh, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Let me go back over here so you can see it. Like, look at that, it's just gorgeous. And of course, the rest of Brindleton Bay is just amazing as well. Let's just kind of zoom around the map here. We've got some waterfalls under the bridge. 
got like these little areas like right here where you can go fishing and stuff. Let's see if we can get her to go over there. Just a little hidden place where you can come and catch some fish. Of course, she's going to die because I didn't green her up because I'm not really going to play her. And you've got this nice, large luxury home right nearby, increasing your property values. The beach, the waves, some good surfing. All right, now that we've had that little tour of that small area of Brindleton Bay, I'm going to go ahead and bring Catherine in to, actually, I'm gonna bring her into Brindleton Bay. We're gonna find a house for her. I did do some cheats on her, gave her some money so that her family could pretty much pick most of the houses there. But first, let's go ahead into create a sim and give her a spouse and a couple animals, maybe even a kid. We'll do them real quick. I won't, I won't do this in a, in a speed CAS or anything. I'll just do it really quick, give her just a little bit of a look change so that we can kind of see some of the items that are in this pack. And of course, I also have a link above where you can go and look at my create a sim video from when cats and dogs was released for PC. Let's go ahead and grab the hair because there are some really great hairs in cats and dogs for actually I'll go here for both men and women. Uh, I'm not really sure how <laughs> how to get to the toggle so I can sort. Oh, well, let me just see if I can figure this out. Oh, there we go. Okay. So you have to come all the way to the top of the list and then it lets you bounce around. I want to come in here and I want to come down to just packs and just choose cats and dogs. So we can just see the hair here. And we'll do like a little fashion show. So actually, let me get her out of here a little bit. Go back, wait, go back. Start up here again. All right, we're gonna start up here again. Let me give her a little bit lighter color hair just so that we can see the detail in here. And I'll pull back. I mean, some of these hairs are some of the best in any packs we've gotten. I love them. Oh. Oops, I skipped. So here's your, your dog or cat. I believe there's also a cat option on here. They're just so cute. I love this one. This is probably one of my favorites. We've got this like messy bun, just working in the yard today kind of thing. Oh, that one we already looked at. And we've got just flowers. And of course, uh, the colors of the bands change based on, whoops, come back, based on the color of the hair. So you'll get different looks no matter what so you can figure out which ones you prefer and then we've got some little punk ones i love that one too i've never actually used it but i think it looks so cool and then this is another of my favorites and this is a ombre effect so you get different colors with this one as well so it's kind of fun get pretty creative and I mean they put so much hair into this pack it is like nuts that's not one of my favorites and here's our cat lady hair <laughs> I love that one and then just some fun little short curls a little something for everybody I mean great hairs 
Let's actually, I'm gonna go all the way back to the back top and give her back her hair color. Ooh, that's actually pretty. Maybe I won't go as dark as she was. And then we'll give her a new hairstyle because she's not a sim that I really did much with. But I kind of like that, but maybe we'll give her a funkier hair color. Let's make Catherine get a little bit of a makeover here. Oh, I kind of like that one. Her eyebrows are a little dark. What's this lavender? Oh, we could do that. Let's do that one. And then let's look at, let's look at some of the clothes. So the styled looks are pretty fun. I do have to say. Oh, actually, before I do that, All right, if we go through what we've got here, I won't go through all the color options. You guys can explore that for yourself. But some really cute, like, little styles. Little fun, little funky. And then, of course... Look at some shirts here. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the tops that we have. I'm not gonna go through all the swatches. I'll leave those for you to discover as well, but I will try on each one just so you can kind of see what they look like. And there's quite a large variety. We've got stuff that is cozy for all different seasons, thankfully. We've got winter, summer. Um, we've got work clothes, like these would be vets outfits here, or shirts for vets outfits, obviously. Let's see. And then we've got some full body options as well, which are really quite fun. So we've got this dress. If you want to throw back to the 70s or a simpler time. This is probably one of my favorite outfits here because it's probably one of the ones I would actually wear in real life. This is another favorite. And this is another favorite. <laughs> and if you wanna be a little waitress or something, that, that always seems like a waitressy outfit for me. And we've got that nice little dress. <laughs> And then some pant options or bottom options. So got those shorts. Not sure why I have the grid on her leg. It's kind of driving me crazy. But I love these shorts, the little ruffles. And then a little skirt. Another little skirt and some scrub bottoms. Can use those perfectly for pajamas. I'm not gonna look at the accessories, but I will take a quick peek at shoes. We did only get, I think, two pairs. We've got these boots here, which you really can't see with her scrubs. And then, let's see if I can put her back in another pair of pants here or something. I'll put her in these shorts so you can see the boots. Those are cute. And then these cute little flats, which is really what I want to show you. So they're like, an let's see if I can zoom, can I zoom at them? Nope. But they're like animals. So depending on the swatch you use, they're going to have a different look to them, but they're super, super cute. And uh, one of the developers at EA actually has shoes very similar to these, and I fell in love. So I was really excited to see them in the game. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and give her an outfit. We're going to put her back in the outfit that I had her in when I we started looking at the clothes. So that is this look here, but I want her in, oops, this look here in a different color. There we go. We'll do that one because it goes okay with her hair. We'll keep the high tops because I think it looks cute. And 
let's get out of this. Now we're gonna make Catherine a spouse. Mm. So we're gonna add new sim. And let's go up here, give him a name. Jermaine, no, I don't like Jermaine. Harvey, Catherine and Harvey. Now, Aaron, Cole, Catherine and Cole. I like that. And then she's Greenwood. So let's give her, give him Greenwood. Some traits. So we have a new animal affection trait uh, through, which is friend of the animal. The Sim wants to be friends with the animal from cats and dogs. I want cat lover. <laughs> I want dog lover, and then I want him to be outgoing. <laughs> all right, so we loaded him up with all the good traits. That should be good. Let's give him a makeover, because I don't really like the way he looks. Cool Greenwood. You're gonna get some new hair. And we're gonna look at what hair are in the men's cats and dogs. So, let's see, we've got, let's turn him a little bit. We've got our we've got our messy bun that the girls had. So that's kind of unisex. That is as well. We've got some new fades here. go all out and then if you really want to get funky you can have an animal paw on your head huh. and let's see just all kinds I kind of like that one. Oh, I already looked at that one okay and this one and then this one is really probably one of my favorites I really love that and then, of course, because, you know, you can, you can. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and give him that hair. We're going to give him a complimentary color to his lady, which would be uh, maybe complimentary, but not quite. Can we do gray? I kind of almost like that. He looks a little oldish with that, but... Well, I kind of like the coloring in that. It's like brown with just a smattering of gray. I think we'll do that. And then let's go down here to facial hair. Now I'm just coming over here just to remove it. Or make it less. Maybe we'll make it less. We'll just do that. He looks so different without that ugly facial hair. Oh my gosh. All right, and he's pretty cute now. I mean, it, all it took was new hair and removing that facial hair, and now he's kind of adorable. I think I can live with that. Okay, now let's just take a little quick peek at the clothing uh, we have for the guys. We'll start with the styled looks, which are really awesome. So, very fun, all ages. I love that one. Blue. Uh -huh. So I'm going to put him in that just so that I can show you the shirts and stuff. Because the pants will go very well. So. And again, just going to run through these real quick. You can discover the swatches for yourself. But they're too good not to show you. <laughs> I love this pack. Cats and Dogs before Seasons came out was my absolute favorite pack. Now since Seasons came out, Cats and Dogs and Seasons are the two packs I can't imagine not having in my game. Of all the packs, they are my absolute favorites. Uh, so hopefully we'll get Seasons for uh, console before too long. I lost my train of thought. I'm not sure why. Full body here for him. Doesn't have a whole lot of options for the guys, but that is a nice one. Lots of Sims walking around in that these days. 
And then bottoms, let's look at those. So again, these are probably one of my favorite bottoms for the guys. I love those. I use them a lot. The cargo pants are pretty great too. Go very preppy if you want. And then of course scrubs for work. And then I'll just show you real quick the pant, I mean the shoes as well. There's only one pair for the guys, but of course they are boat shoes. So perfect for this. Let's go ahead and put him back in that look. Cause I like it. Yeah, he, he likes it too. All right, fantastic. Thank you so much, Cool. Nice to meet you. Let's create a, oh, you know what I didn't do, I don't think. Let's go back up here for a minute. Or not. I didn't make them married. Let's make them married. Okay. And then we're going to go play with some genetics and make a baby. Or actually, why don't we just make a little girl? No baby, it's just a little girl. So we'll play with genetics. And unknown parent, why don't we use your wife? Hmm, just saying. Okay. So, we'll just do like a little daughter. Let's keep going till we find one we like. And then I'll just show you the options we got with cats and dogs for the little girls. And then I'll let you explore the little boys and stuff uh, on your own. And like the little children, toddlers. I think that, eh, she's not very cute. I wish we could have like the colorful hairs for the kids like we do the, come on, randomize. All these kids like look mad or something. I think they're giving her, them her mouth. All right, I'm not gonna do this too much more. I'm just gonna do one more spin of the dice and that's what we end up with, okay. So we're gonna say yes and let's go edit her. We'll start with the kid's hair. I like her with those little glasses. I think we'll leave those on there. All right, so you can see, and we'll, we're actually going to leave her in this hair. And I'm going to leave her in this hair color, too, because I like it. But it's probably one of my favorite kids' hair, and the one I tend to use a lot in my own private gameplay, just because it's just so adorable. Love the curls. I love the bows. And since we're going to keep those glasses on her, let's actually, whoops, I don't want makeup. I want eyes. See if we can find another pair of glasses I like better. Nope. Those are kind of cute. No, I want those and I want them. I was hoping there'd be a color that kind of went along with her bow. Well, maybe those work after all. There are some cute ones up here too. What about those? Oh, I actually think those are our winner. Just not sure what color. Gray. Do they all have the yellow on them? No, okay. Maybe we'll do the blue. I kind of like those, they're kind of funky. I also kind of like these in that pink. But it doesn't go with her hair bow, that's the only problem. And that hair bow will stay forever and always as we keep that hair. All right, we'll do those. Those are cute. And then what we'll do, let's go look at her clothes. So of course, we will start with stylized. 
And there aren't a ton of choices, but I think this dress is very, very sweet. And then tops. We have, and most of these styles are unisex. So what the girls can wear, the boys can wear, and so on and so forth. So keep that in mind when you're playing. And then of course that sweet dress, which is super precious. And then these shorts. So yeah, so you see there's not a ton for the kids, but enough to kind of include them. I'm going to go ahead and put her in the sweet dress because I like it. And I think maybe we'll do blue, kind of go with the whole theme. She looks adorable. And then shoes wise, they did get three pairs so that we have boots boots <laughs> boots which i'm actually going to keep those on because they kind of go with the style her parents are wearing and yeah so that is the create a sim for the kids in a nutshell and now this is what we've all been waiting for i know it you know it uh maybe you don't know it but you will know it after i look at this Create a pet is amazing. And what we'll do is make a dog first. We're going to have a dog and we're going to have a cat. Oh, hello, hello. He's so happy to be created. All right, so let's talk a little bit about Create a Sim for a dog and a cat. And I'm just going to do a real brief overview because, again, uh, I looked at this a little bit more in depth last year, but I want to show you um, in console the changes and so forth. Okay, up here at the top, you have different poses. So you can see how your creations are turning out. And the reason these are important is because you can literally paint every corner or inch of your animal. Believe it or not, you can. So let's go ahead and, whoops, go back up here and give our dog a name. Ninja. Let's do Ninja. He looks like a ninja. He is a red bone coon hound. We're just going to keep his um, breed as he is. So they are known for being vocal, obviously, because he said hello to us so quickly. And then we can change that or we can just pick other traits in addition to. So I'm going to make him loyal. And I'm going to make him friendly. So he won't know any strangers and he's going to be really noisy. Great. So that done, let's go and do the fun stuff. If I get my cursor back, we will get started. All right, we're going to click on him, and you are going to see all of these options here. So you, here's your breed picker. You can come in, and there's a ton of different breeds, and you can mix breeds. So you can get very, very creative with the kind of animal that you pick uh, or raise. And then once you do that, you have the different body shapes for that breed. So you can change those here. I like the way he looks, so I'm not going to really do anything. You can change their tails, so you have a whole bunch of different options for tails, however you want them. If you don't want it up all the time, if you do want it up all the time, if you want it dancing around, if you want it curled, if you want it docked. So I'm going to go ahead and give our little ninja a down tail. I didn't even look and see what sex ninja was. Uh, let's see. And then this is just amazing. Okay. So 
So you're gonna come in here and you can just choose like patterns that are pre-existing or you can come up, whoops, let me see if I can figure out how to get up there. Probably the same way as colors, hang on. There's probably a shortcut to this, but I haven't discovered it yet. But you can come up here and you can individually change all of these colors if you want. Did not mean to put them in clothes, but we'll take care of that here in a minute. Um, now, see this little palette here? If you select that and click A, it opens a color wheel. Absolutely one of my favorite things ever. In The Sims 3, you could color anything and everything, and in Sims 4, we couldn't. So when they brought this back for Cats and Dogs, I was over the moon excited, hoping that it would roll out to other parts of the game, which has not yet happened, unfortunately, but I do enjoy it in Cats and Dogs. It lets you do things like add spots, so I could pick a spot and I can pick a color and then I can come over here and the question is how to do it on here. I'm not 100% sure. Let me pick a color and then I don't, hold on. I got to figure this out with you guys. Okay, so it says check out the lessons in the options menu for more information about painting pets. But first, let's look at the controls and see if it tells us. Toggle the paint cursor, so hit X, okay. So, there we go. All right, so you see I have my spot selected. Now, you can do it in two different settings. So I have the butterfly, which is kind of mid-screen on the right picked and that means it'll do the same pattern on both sides of the animal right so I can come over here and I can pick fill color and change that and just paint his whole body hang on or I can come and to toggle the butterfly so now let's pick a different thing and I'll show you. If I come over here, oh, I should probably get another color, huh? So we'll do purple. And now I have it on that side, but if I come over here, I don't. So it really lets you be creative. Uh, you can also erase what you do. You can pick colors. You can change the brush size. You can change your brush location or rotation got stamps so like if you wanted to make it a dalmatian with purple spots you could sorry i still don't have full control of my cursor i've adjusted the speed but i can't get the hang of it if you want to put some fish on him those do kind of look like bubbles you can have some fish so you can get really, really creative, I guess is the point. And um, do what you want, create what you want. Make rainbow animals, make Christmas animals, make Halloween animals. It is up to you what you wanna do. And it is amazing that we have those options. And then on top of that, we also have different fur lengths. So we can give them different styles of fur. Like I kinda like that one with the wrinkles. But if I wanted long hair, I could make long hair. I mean, it is, anything goes, anything goes. So we're gonna keep him with short hair and then we're gonna look at this clothing because somehow he got dressed and I'm not really sure how that happened. But we can put a collar on. Well, I think he deserves a spike. And take off his water vest because we don't need that and then we can do like I don't know why he's on walking he should be on every day to show us all the options I'm not sure why we're not seeing all the options all right there's the hats so let's do this we can have a hunting hat. You can make him a unicorn. 
You saw the collars. But here's some more since we're not in walking. So if you want to dress them up, get them fancy. Harnesses. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing these because there are, maybe it's because he's a boy. I don't know. But you've got sweaters. Or maybe the dresses are only for the little, oh, I think that's what it was. The dresses, I don't usually put an, or clothes on my animals, but the dresses were, I think, for the smaller dogs. It's because he's a big dog. And then, of course, you have outfits, too. And in his case, because he's a big guy, you only have that one. But there's some other cute ones for little dogs. Let's see. Actually. So I want to show you those. They're very cute. Let's make him just temporarily a small breed. Okay. We'll go back. Well, I'm going to keep him as he was, but I just want to show you. So you have these like dresses here. And a few more outfits because they're small breeds. So you can put something like this on them. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And then the costumes. So you've got a few more options. Look at that. He's so cute. And you can make him a wiener dog. And then of course a little fuzzy wuzzy. Isn't that adorable? So yeah, so it just really depends on the breed you have and you know what you want to do. Like I said, I don't typically put my animals in clothes in real life or in here. Uh, I haven't really felt the need, so I don't play in the clothes very often, but I do like to play with like the painting of the animals and the changing of their skin and, and their just orientation, basically. So, yeah, I think, I think this cats and dogs create a pet is amazing. So let's do one more. All right, so I had a little technical difficulty there and I had to recreate our whole family lamb again, uh, but I did and I think I got them pretty close to what I had before my whole game froze on me. Uh, I have reported that bug, so if you do run into a bug in Create a Sim or Create a Pet where it freezes and doesn't let you get out of it without quitting to the main menu, please reach out to help.ea.com, let them know so they can track down that nasty little bug. And let's go ahead and create a cat, which is all I really wanted to do, create a cat. So now we're going to, hopefully without any issue. Oh my gosh, look at that little cutie pie. Okay, so I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of detail because creating a cat is very much the same as creating a dog. And yes, I'm gonna name you Precious because you are precious. Um, but I will go in and we'll look at some of that stuff and see. We'll do playful and friendly. Oh, yeah, I think that'll be good. She's cute. All right, so let's get out of here and go look at some of the Create a Pet stuff for Precious. Hi, Miss Precious, you are so cute. So we're gonna click in here because there are some little differences, um, obviously, because we have you know a different breed of animal here. So you have different shape heads and different size noses and squished faces and long faces and no fur and some fur and you know all that fun stuff. Then you have the different ear shapes as well. So I mean, you can make some really funky looking kitties if you want to. Uh, or you can make your kitty. I actually did a build where I made my sim self and all five of my animals, and that was really a lot of fun. If you play Sims 4 for PC, you can find them in the PC gallery. Maybe one day 
we will have gallery access here and you'll be able to access them yourself as well if you're only console. Let's say whiskers. I think we'll do that. We can change the whisker color. I want them to be a little bit darker. Maybe not that dark. Maybe we'll do the dark gray. Or should we do hot pink whiskers? Let's do some hot pink whiskers. Now let's let's do some bright blue whisk. No, let's do green. I'm just playing with you guys. Let's do black. I think I like that. And then of course paint mode exists as well. I'm gonna go in and look at the eyes in just a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and keep her this color, I believe, because I think she's really pretty. I love it when Creator sim or create a pet randomizer gives me something right off the bat that i love because i mean this cat is adorable all right so the only thing i really want to change is the eyes so i'm going to pop in here and not so much the shape because i love cats with big bright eyes but i also like green eyed cats so i want to give some green eyes here um, you have the ability to do two different eye colors if you want, as some cats do have two different eyes. And of course, you can change the shapes to suit your whims. And you have the ability, you know, to, to do what we do in, you know, the other create a sim areas where you can kind of play around with uh, shapes and everything just like you would for all of that. I don't think I really touched on that much with the dog, but you know, pushing, pulling, that kind of stuff. So if I wanted to make her a little skinnier, I could do that. If I wanted to bring in her chest a little bit, I could do that. You know, you have all of those controls. So I mean, the possibilities are just endless as to what you can do with your babies. And you can literally make them match yours. I mean, it's not really that hard. They have so many tools at our disposal. It's just, oh, this is definitely one of the best additions to anything. Aren't they the cutest? Now that we've got them saved, let's go ahead. No, we're not deleting. Let's go ahead and move them into one of our houses here. So we can do, they have 601,000 Simoleons. I'm not sure where the 1,000 simoleons came from because I only gave them 6,000 but or 600,000. But we can do them into um, any house pretty much. We can kick people out or we can leave the people there and just look at the empty houses. So what do we have choice-wise? Empty. We don't want to kick out Brant and Brent. So we have this house up here, two bedrooms, two bathrooms. That could work. And I mean, we literally have two houses, three houses we can move into. We could do Bedlington Boathouse, which I think I may do because I want to remodel that one. And Hound's Head, which is four bedrooms, three baths. I think that might be a little bit big for us to start off with. So I think we'll do Bedlington Boathouse. But before I do, or Boathouse, before I do, I want to talk about up here. So um, this house right here, or this building, is our vet's office which you will see that we will take our animals there quite frequently. Uh, let's go ahead and build the house or buy the house and then we'll go look at that. We're gonna move them in furnished. All right, and now that they're moved in, Let's visit the Paw Hospital here. And we'll take Cole and Precious. Or actually, let's uncheck the other ones. We'll do Cole and Precious and we'll take them. And I just wanna give you a quick look at the vet's office since my next step is gonna be um, looking a little bit at buy build for the pack and kind of we'll redo the, the boathouse a little bit. And that'll be today's overview video of cats and dogs. And you guys can comment and let me know if you'd like to see a let's play with this family. Uh, or if you want me to move Selena and Roberto over here. Um, whatever. You guys just let me know. Alright, well it's 8 o'clock in the morning. We are at the vet's 
building. So what, and you can create your own. This is just the one that was created for us. So let's see if I can get him to go in there. He's gonna play with little precious. So what you want to do, and I like how they're making it, it glow, but you want to come to this little machine right here. Let me see if I can get a little closer to it. And you want to check your pet in. So you come in, we're going to have um, Precious get spayed so that we don't have any other kitties running around since she is a young, young female cat. So you come here, you check in, you say what you're here for, and then you literally wait for the vet to come and get you. And while you do it, it's a really good place to socialize with other animal lovers, other pet owners. You'll see a lot of the neighborhood here. You'll see animals like this dog over here, if the dog will turn around, uh, that have different ailments. So, and then you can do friendly introductions because he is an animal lover. But you can see, I think he's got like the Sims version of fleas. Now, the thing is, when you are in the vet's office, oftentimes the owner will not know that the vet is ready. The vet will come and take the animal as is what just happened. So let's go to that. Well, whoops. Let's see, Precious is in there getting surgery happening. She's getting spayed. And now she's spayed and she can't have any babies. So we're not gonna have any kittens from her anyway. And now she has her cute little cone. Isn't that adorable? And you can customize your vet's office. You can do whatever you want with it. Look, she's kind of got the cone of shame and so she's walking like she's shamed. And he's a little late to the party. I'm not sure where he's going. Um, Cole, you probably... Oh, Cole, just help yourself. Maybe you should take Precious home. <laughs> we'll go ahead and take Precious home. We will explore the vet's office a little more in depth later uh, in future episodes if we do a Let's Play. But basically, every time your animal gets sick, are you going to take your cat with you, babe? <laughs> Yeah, but anytime your animal gets sick, you will want to either give them medicine at home or bring them to the vet's office so that they can get cured and not die on you. Because they do die. I don't remember if they die of illnesses or just old age, but it's very sad when your pets die, let me tell you. All right, so I mentioned earlier how I love this lot. I've, I have built so many houses on this lot. I don't often use this pre-built house. But I did uh, do a remodel of one of it, or of it once right after the game launched. It's a great house to remodel. It gives you plenty of room, and there are plenty of things to kind of spruce up or keep down, whatever you want. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the new build options in here. All right, real quickly, I'm just going to zoom us through all of the buy mode items that are in the game for us. So we've got a mixture of beds and of course household stuff. Everything with the bent toward being a little nautical. We have uh, some new plumbing fixtures, some new outdoor fixtures. I have to say this hutch is probably one of my favorites. It's massive, takes up a ton of space. Uh, this harbor in a box aquarium is pretty cool. These are things you'll use in the vet's office. We've got some training tools for the animals along with toy boxes and toys. We've got these little buildings here and you'll see those out in Brindleton Bay. Uh, and if we get a chance in this video, we might take a look out there because we're not gonna do too much in buy build. Uh, some more decor stuff, lots of wall decorations for the vet's office just for animals the kids can have them in their room these are these wait oh, whoop, sorry I'm trying to get to my favorites where's my cursor okay so the happiest crab in the world the shrimp sign all of these 
are some of my absolute favorite things that have been included in this pack. I use them in a lot of builds because I tend to do a lot of things that have a more tropical bent because I do like living near the water, being near the water. Uh, so, yeah. And then, of course, you've got some fun stuff that you can put in a restaurant. You can put out and about in the neighborhoods. You've got signs, new signs for the restaurants. You've got decorations. Uh, I love to use this newspaper, which is kind of uh, designed for, like, the cats and dogs to use, you know, when they're being trained. Uh, but I love to use it under a painting easel in the house as kind of like a floor protector. And then you've got a bunch of new rugs, some new fireplaces, which I absolutely love. This one especially is probably one of my, my favorites. Uh, some more decor items. These boxes size up and down really well and can be used in many, many different ways in builds. Uh, you've got your traditional cat trees. You've got a carrier so that if you need to uh, get them to the vet without killing yourself, that is a great way to do it. Some more vet decor and usable items in here. So like that vending machine can vend out... Um, medicines and other things that you may need for your pet and then of course lights oh another thing that we got in this pack which i absolutely love is <laughs> roombas yes high-end robot vacuum so if you put these down they do wet and dry and uh, that will keep your floors tidy even if accidents happen and then let's see we have these public pool potties which when you when we visited this lot before you probably saw them next door uh in the in the community lot because that is kind of the trend around these parts of the woods and let's go over and look at build mode so again i'm not going to go through all the swatches here i will let you experience them yourself but i just want to show you we do have some indoor and outdoor walls We have some floors, which I absolutely love. That white swatch there is probably one of my most used. Let me see if I can get back to it. I use this all the time. So the sloppy paint, it's perfect. Let's get it. Let's get the white. We'll put it out here on this front porch. Forget how to do the whole room. Let's see. Go. All right. So let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. I just really love that paint. It definitely looks like something, you know, you might do on a weekend. Go out and paint your yard or, I mean, your patio. Spruce it up a little bit. All right. Then we have some doors and windows as well. Some of my favorites. But the ones I want to talk about are these little guys down here. These are cat and dog doors. So you can install them in the house and the cats and dogs can go in and out as they want, which is very fun. Then of course we've got all of these as well. And some windows. So very, very nice windows, very nautical. I believe we have some fencing as well. Yep, we have that fencing. We have that door. It's going to kind of make a barn corral or uh, I mean like a horse corral or whatever, not a barn corral. Oh, and we do have some stairs. Oh, maybe we don't have stairs. I was thinking we did. Not pools. Let's see. Okay, we have the stair railing. So kind of what you're seeing like around the porch, it's the same idea. I knew we had something stair related. We got some new trees. Let's come down here and just look at everything. We've got these topi area, topi areas. We got some topi areas, hope you don't mind. No, we got some topiaries and uh, some hostas. We have some roof decorations, one chimney and then two just kind of decorations i'm not really sure what you would call these uh but they just go on top of the roof 
and add a little bit of something something. So that is it. That's a look at buy build and what we have in there. So as you can see, this is a pretty chock full uh, pack. So that makes it very, very nice, very fun to build with. It added a ton of stuff that I have always just been enamored with for probably the last year building with. Added a lot of flavor and definitely gives me a little bit more room for creativity. So let's go ahead and we're going to go back into live mode and I'm going to do one thing. We're going to go up to like the uh, pier area, the, the wharf area of the Brindleton Bay and just take a look up there before I wrap up this video. So let's, let's go. Cole Amia Precious and Ninja have traveled to the wharf and they are at the restaurant right now. Oh, well, Precious is off and running. Ninja's just hanging out. Let's see what we can get Cole and Amia into. Justin is like following us around. Oh wait, was Precious was just on the table and now she's not, okay. So let's zoom out a little bit so you can see this area too. All right, so you can see it's a mixture of residential and commercial. So there's some commercial fishing that goes on here. There's like a little playground here. You've got this area here with the restaurant. You can eat outside and then you've got some vendors up here. So let's see these vendors here. These were what I was showing you in buy mode. You can come up here and buy the daily catch. You can haggle. Let's see if he'll go haggle with her. Oh, it's Eliza. Hi, Eliza. He's like, nope, I don't want it at that price. Are you crazy? I'm already losing money at these prices. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you gave up that easy, Cole? Come on. Haggle with her. Let's make a friendly introduction to Eliza, because everybody should know Eliza. And then let's see if we get the option to, nope, only buy daily catch. Okay, we'll go ahead and buy from you even though you were mean to me. She's very happy we're buying. She's calling for somebody to bring the daily catch up. Wait, where are you going, Cole? Cole's embarrassed so he's running away. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. And then you've got the food right here on the side. Isn't that so cute? I just love it. So realistic. Though I'm not sure why he ran away and then came right back. Oh, and they just closed up. Okay, 2.25 p.m. must be the end of their work day. You can see there are animals all over the place. Mr. Whiskers is a celebrity in Brindleton Bay. And you're, he is a stray, so you can adopt him if you wanted to bring him into your family. It's always good. Whoops, apparently I'm not fast enough to meet him, but it's always good to meet him. Uh, but you'll get plenty of opportunities because he, gosh, come on. He is around all the time. But look at, I mean, just look at the ambiance around here. I just love it so much. While we're down here at the wharf, let's travel one last place. We are going to travel to the lighthouse and we'll have all of the fam come. Now the boat is not, the boat is what you use to travel to the lighthouse, but that being said, it is not an actual rideable boat. So you'll see what happens when they get here. They kind of go into a rabbit hole and end up at the board or at the lighthouse. This is the museum for the lighthouse. So when you get here, you can come in and explore the museum, learn about the lighthouse, and then you can actually travel. Ooh, camera issues here for sure. Okay, travel up here to the lighthouse. The lighthouse is not editable. So it's really somewhere you can just visit. You go into this house 
and you cannot go actually inside the house to where you can see it or change anything but it's the rabbit hole that is needed to go up to the top of the lighthouse so let's watch Mia do that run Mia run run she is fast getting some exercise on here all right, so that was amazing. It was not that fast the last time I went into a lighthouse, but you can see that you can just view all of the water and the surrounding land. It's just amazing up here. It's a great place for selfies. You can, if you're of age, you can woohoo up here. So I feel like the lighthouse in this scene right here is a great way to wrap up our video. I hope you enjoyed this look at Cats and Dogs for Console. And of course, like I said earlier, if you'd like me to see a Let's, or if you would like me to do a Let's Play, please make sure to let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you watched. And if you'd like to see more and you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and then ring the bell. And let YouTube know that you would like notifications when I post something new on the channel. And that way you won't miss out on anything. And I'll see you guys again real soon. Have a great one.